It's been a rough work day The boss is busting your ass All you can think of is a nice cold glass of beer and sunshine Life can get you down But you can take all the lids Nothing in this world that a beer and sunshine Cannot fizz Oh, it's a beautiful day for some beach and tan Grab a few friends, put your feet in the sand With some beer and sunshine Oh, oh, beer and sunshine Yeah, beer and sunshine What's up, everybody? <laughs> Episode number three of Beer and Sunshine Today we've got some awesome guests uh, that's the Easter Bunny in the background, by the way. Uh, it is Easter weekend this weekend, so, you know, we wanted to kind of celebrate. Of course, we have our own bunny here. We have Christina. Audience, Christina, come on. Out. Look at that outfit. Are you kidding? <laughs> but uh, we've got some great guests today. We've got Nate and James from Rubble Dog Brewing. They brought us some uh, really, a really cool sour beer here. Um, we're going to be talking to them today for the show. And for those of you who don't know what Beer and Sunshine is, uh, we're a show that is all about the local craft beer scene here in the Tampa Bay area. And uh, of course, beer for breweries, sunshine for Florida. You know, when we started this thing uh, a little over a year ago, there's about 40 breweries. Now we have over 160 breweries nice. and, and still just going strong. Um, so this is, uh, we're really excited to be able to, to do this here. Thanks to WeBeamTV.com and Tampa Bay Multimedia. These guys are awesome. Uh, they, they treat us like stars when we come here. And, um, well, of course, that's probably because we give them beer. And then, you know, they get a little bit tipsy and then they love us. And they yes. hug us a little too much, but that's okay. I'm kind of a hugger. Kind of a hugger. <laughs> uh, you know? But uh, anyway, I mean, oh. whoa, that's not what I was saying, Bunny. Oh, no, Bunny, wow. you dropped an egg. Jeez. No respect for the egg. That's what the Easter Bunny is all about. No respect for the egg. Right? That's but, too cute. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be an awesome show here. I'm yeah. excited to talk to these guys. They've, they've been very kind to us. Um, and we've been to their place a couple of times. Actually, times, we did yeah. an episode there, mm -hmm. right? And that was, that was pretty fun. We're actually live on location. Uh, somebody gave us chili. If you feed me, then I will love you forever. I'm like a puppy. <laughs> you give me a biscuit time. or whatever, I'll just follow you home kind of thing. Yeah, yeah we haven't yeah. had chili forever. That was yeah. September. Yeah, and, uh, and so and I would say... Uh, Nate is the brewmaster, but I don't know. He doesn't. He doesn't feel that way. It feels like well, you uh, know, definitely not the master of brew. <laughs> I spent That's pretty good beer. Dude. I spent five hours with Nate and James on Sunday. Oh, awesome! And when it started, I wasn't sure what kind of morning that we were in in for, <laughs> because Billy and I were waiting in the truck, and Nate pulls up, and he looked like he was in a very sour mood, and I was like, Billy. I don't think James cleared it with Nate that we're supposed to be here today. <laughs> so I texted James and I was like, you're not here. He goes, oh, I'll be there in a few minutes. Oh. Nate should be there. I'm like, yeah, Nate's here, but he doesn't look happy. And James is like, eh, whatever. <laughs> and we go in and after he had his coffee, he was pretty nice. But for the first, I would say the first 30 minutes, he was kind well, like, like of like, like an NFL lineman. Well, so see, if he's in a bad mood, <laughs> no, I mean, you know, nobody wants a part I, of that. I go in and, and everything's more or less just not set up, and it is uh, it's nine o'clock. I rather be you, sleeping or something else. And you need caffeine in the morning. You're one of those. Guys. Well, he did. Yeah. He what finished his coffee. Uh, what time and was, was it fine. when you guys got together? What time? Nine. Yeah, it was nine o'clock. Nine, nine o'clock. Yeah. So you're late sleeper. I mean, I mean once, my wife gets me up at like 5.30 in the morning or 6 o'clock Once he had his coffee, day, so. boy, I tell you, he, he was good to go. But f for the first half hour, I was scared. Well, let's pump him full of beer. Well, actually, he probably had a few while he was sitting out there <laughs> in our, in our green room. In our green room, right? But, uh, so, Tommy, I want to, first of all, I know everybody has heard our, our opening song. Yes. Um, I wrote the lyrics for that song, but my good friend David Epps, and you can find him on Instagram, um, Epps37. Uh, he sang the song and he wrote the music and we love that song. I sang that song in I, my car. The first time I heard it, it's been a I had, I had chill bumps. I yeah, had chill I bumps. And song. the second time I heard it, it almost brought me to tears. I thought, how do we have such a cool song? I mean, the first, the very first try that we didn't, it's not like somebody else tried to make a song and then we're like, oh, that song sucks. Let's get, let's find another one. Or it's not like we called him and said, hey man, could you change this? Could you change it? The, from right yep. out of the gate. Yep. And you said you gave it to the guy. And he just, that he was just his first it. attempt. He just I went mean, with it. Friggin' amazing. I know, I we heard it. it. I heard, he had sent it to me, and we were actually here setting the thing up, and I heard it. 
Man. And like, yeah, I pretty, got a little emotional. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tommy, how's your head doing? It's doing okay, as everybody can see. If you saw the first episode, I was a bloody mess. I had Tommy literally... Tommy had cut himself in the shower. I cut a pimple off the top of my head that I forgot was there, and I was bleeding profusely for like three days. Yeah. For three days. No, no, no. It was bad. Like, we would take... We took so the band-aid off, and it just like, you know, all when I, the So this, this, this is an hour and a half... Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. With traffic on Friday, it's a three-hour drive for me from Sarasota. So at night, after we had a few beers or whatever, I go home with uh, Billy and Christina, and I, I crash in the guest room. I have my own room there, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and so she was, like, nursing me. Like, the next day, like, I'm leaning over a sink. There's blood pouring out of my head for... And then I went home, and it was the same thing. for. So I just left the bandage on for, like, three days, and finally it stopped. It just no, we had to buy special stuff, actually. His um, father-in-law is a doctor. <laughs> and he said, you need to buy this stuff, and it Real helps clot. I you. don't know. It was, like, it was, it was nasty. So anyway, why, why I bring that up is... Um, our friends at Beer Vats and Be Gone actually have a product that might have helped you. Um, it's called Shower Buddy. Well, if I had a Shower Buddy, it would be awesome. Yeah, I'd love, okay, to, see, I'd so love to see it. We'll run this commercial see, and you can see, see Shower Maybe I'll Buddy. Buy it. And then, have I'm, you ever wanted to enjoy a hot shower and a cold beer at the same time, but couldn't figure out how to do it with two hands? Well, wonder no more with Shower Buddy. Shower Buddy from Beer Vats and Be Gone will come to your home and help you with your shower. He'll wash your back and other places you couldn't even reach before. So get online and order your Shower Buddy today. I'll get that. Shower Buddy is available at all pet stores, gas stations, homeless shelters, and fine dining restaurants. No brewers were harmed in the making of this commercial. Oh my God, Tom, you so that's pretty, shower, that's pretty hysterical. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Huh? Nice work, Billy. I knew, oh, he, I knew he was going to be a natural, that guy. Uh, they've, got, they've got lots of products. I'm sure we're going to be seeing um, quite a few commercials from uh, Beer Vats and Be Gone. Well, I'm in. Sign me up. I want to share, buddy. Chicken, give me a beer, please. I want uh, the Big Top stuff. Not, this stuff's delicious, but I want the Big Top. So our friends at Big Top, uh, you know, who we will usually display yeah. back there. We had some signs. They must have fallen down because of the earthquakes we get here in Florida, which are ridiculous. Um, <laughs> so bad. Not just hurricanes. We get earthquakes as well. And... Uh, so the guys at Big Top Brewery in Sarasota, Florida, that, uh, it's my home base there. They're right across the street from me. It's my local uh, watering hole. They were nice enough to donate some beer. They donated some, uh, some amber. We've got uh, a bunch of it, five gallons or so, so for the studio audience. Yes, you know, up. Help yourselves. Have all the beer you want. Because, um, unfortunately, this awesome beer these guys brought us is not going to be enough to go around. I think we're going to keep that just, just for us up here. So. <laughs> It is delicious, by the way. It's a nice, it's a it's a sour, right? It's a sour beer. Yep. yep. Tell, tell us about that beer. Yes. It's, it's pretty interesting. This beer uh, honestly started out as an English brown. Um, some things kind of went down. Be gone, chicken. Um, and there was a, a little bit of the time discrepancy. I suppose. In, instead of transferring it when I should have transferred it, let it do its thing and. Uh, Turns out, and we just renamed it this past weekend. Uh, it was uh, How Now Brown Sour, but uh, hmm. more fitting name is Anger and Neglect. Yeah, Anger I said, I said <laughs> he, he, he had said that he had left it and, you know, it was upsetting because when you, you know, have an idea for a beer and you put, I mean, which is a lot of time. Like I said, I was only there for one mm. batch and it was five hours. So if you put all that time and energy into a beer and it doesn't turn out right, I was like, well, doesn't it taste like anger and neglect afterwards? <laughs> like it's a good description. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's it's a sour, but it's also anger and neglect. And in a can you, do you know? <laughs> like, can you tell us? Like the we've got a lot of beer nerds. Obviously, people that watch us. You know, hey, thanks guys, whoever's thanks, watching. Thanks, beer this. nerds. Last week we had like over twenty thousand people watching the show. That's that was Woo! up from fourteen thousand after the first one. So it's really exciting Woo! stuff for us. Studio audience. <laughs> but uh, can you tell us, like, so I know there's like a Goza or Goes, and then you have like a regular sour. Do you know, like, kind of the difference between those? Uh, it's really just the different malts and grains. I'm not 100% sure on the different styles, mm -hmm. but I know, like, the Goza is usually a little more hazy and um, clear color almost. Uh -huh. um, the the other sours, like the Belinda Weiss, is a German sour. Mm -hmm. And usually a lot of people make that about 4.3 to 4.5%. Uh, what's, what's the gravity on this one? This is, about what was it, 5.8, well, I believe. Not this yeah. one. I pointed the wrong beer, but that, <laughs> that yeah, one. It's about 5.5, 5.8. Ah, that's good. Pretty, pretty good for, uh, for a, a very, very tasty beer. Yeah, it pretty was a, delicious. It was a, a, a hoppy accident. 
Yeah. Ah. Oh. Gotta love him. Sorry, internet. <laughs> so, how did you guys? How did you guys come to be uh, Rebel Rebel Dog Brewing? And we've got about two minutes left, I think. But you know, give us the Reader's Digest version for now. We'll come back to you with. Well, with for now, I mean, uh, it started out with uh, I was DK Drunken Nights Brewing before everyone had, always has their name for their home brewery. That was mine. Started out as a home brew store, and. Um, I went in to the brewery to expand with someone else at the time. They had their own little home brewery name. I didn't necessarily like it. Didn't really catch, you know. And I was like, all right, we can still use the dog motif. I understand I need to change my name if we're going to do this. So I changed it. Honestly, I was going through the internet trying to find a good adjective to describe a dog. And Rebel Dog came up, and I said, you know what? Rebel Dog might work. I threw it on Facebook, see what people thought. I think about 70% voted out of the four choices I gave them for Rebel Dog. And uh, that is the terrible story about how I like it. I, like I, like it. I have a friend named Kelly Harmon. Hello, Kelly. Not that you're watching. She's probably not watching. Maybe one of her brothers are good friends. But uh, she has a dog that's named Rebel. So, boom, Rebel Dog. It works. Guess, right? Um, and by the way, I don't know if we told you guys this, but the show is actually a drinking game. So <clears throat> we're going to uh, we're going to go to commercial here in, in just uh, just a minute or so, thirty seconds or so. And uh, when we come back, we're going to play f a round of Fuzzy Duck. It's pretty simple. Uh, it starts with uh, the person to your left. So Nate uh, Nate's going to start us off. He's going to say Fuzzy Duck. Uh, James will say Fuzzy Duck, and it keeps going until somebody says, "Does he?" And then it spins around, goes the other way, and it becomes Ducky Fuzz, Ducky Fuzz, Ducky Fuzz. Now, when somebody screws up, obviously, you, you drink. Have to drink. Everybody drinks. Yeah. So it's Fuzzy Duck, Does He, and then Ducky Fuzz. It's a super simple game, and I think we're going to have some There might be some, some, uh, some different words that come out, I think, with that. <laughs> yep. Well, let's yep. see how that goes, I guess, right? <laughs> I'm ready to mess this up, too. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, uh, hey, we'll be right back. Check, out, uh, check us out after these messages. And 
Joshua. Welcome back. We're sitting here with Nate and James from Rebel Dog. I spent uh, a fair amount of time with you on Sunday, and it was I got to see the from beginning to end the whole milling, all of it. So what I want to ask you is, um, of course, you are a small a small brewery, so you do small batch. Yes, small batch brewing. Mm -hmm. um, do you prefer the small batch brewing as opposed to the, the big vats and the mechanical systems? Like, do you prefer doing it hands-on? Well, <clears throat> if I've ever had an opportunity to use a large system, I will probably say I would rather go with a large system. Really? <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of work that goes into small batch brewing where you have these automated large vat systems that just everything is push button and the grains go to the mash ton and just everything just one thing to another it's everything's just nice and on key quality control is there small batch brewing like the sour sometimes you just never know how it's going to turn out yes i know but with the small batch and your hands on then I find you get more of a say in what happens than when it goes yeah. through the, the machine. I mean, I'm, we were there, you you measured your grains yourself, you weighed the grains yourself, <clears throat> you even milled the grains yourself. Like When it worked. Yeah. <laughs> and, and isn't there something really cool about when you, like, <clears throat> when you go to a brewery, and it's a brewery that you go to somewhat regularly, and you're having a beer that they make pretty regularly, mm -hmm. like one of their staple beers or something, from one month to the next or one week to the next, you know, depending on how much you're making, right, right. how long it lasts, it can be a little bit different each time. Oh, yeah. and, that, and that makes it kind of interesting. One one you know, one batch, somebody, everybody might go nuts for it. The next batch, you might have a whole different set of people that go yep. crazy for it, you know? Yep. Mm -hmm. There's an artisanal, quali artisanal quality to that, too, that it's very old school kind of hands-on, yeah. right? Oh, no, absolutely. I mean, some that's of those ones... you have to ones... tell yourself when you're slaving over that stuff. Yeah, and you know? some of the ones, that's that's true, and you can come up with almost something else when you're trying to do one thing, but there's others that you want that are staples that people come in for yeah. that you want to make sure is 100% right. accurate and, and, you know, the quality, like I said, is, is there, so... What are, what are your staple beers? What are the ones that people, when they go to Rebel Dog Brewing... And where were you guys located, by the way? We're on Ridge Road, 7200 Ridge Road in Port Ritchie. Port Ritchie, all right. <clears throat> so what uh, what are your staple beers? What are the ones that people always find on draft there? Right now, uh, the Milk Stout, I would say, is one of the most popular ones. We did have an American Pale. Um, I'm actually, I was... Endless Summer. In the, the Endless Summer, which is uh, it's a blueberry boysenberry wit. Very light, refreshing, not too sweet. Now, is that the one that you were brewing on Sunday, yep. Sunday morning? Yep. 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 And uh, the cream ale, I like to call that my transition beer in Port Ritchie. They haven't really felt the craft beer scene just yet. So when people come in and they ask for, you know, the Norm, the Mick Ultra, Bud Light, I give them a cream ale so they have a little bit of a transition in the craft scene baby steps right but yeah. steps. it's it's malty Very enough baby. there's not a whole what? lot of bitterness to it it's a nice light beer and they it, it kind of opens them up a little bit more yeah. so yeah <clears throat> but that's uh that's definitely one of our staples as well but Why i've, we, I've uh, redone hey, a lot should, of our recipes we should probably get a quick round of this fuzzy duck game right oh yeah because the, way the, the way the games work usually is it's you know somebody's watching it's team tommy team christina then it would be team james team nate so you guys pick a team, and then whenever we drink, you drink. And then, of course, when the show's over, feel free to play whatever game you want. If you like this one, you'll play this one, of course, right? So we're going to start with Nate. It's Fuzzy Duck, and you just keep repeating it until somebody says, does he? And then it goes, Ducky Fuzz. And basically, it's the does he again to flip it back, and then when somebody screws up, we all drink. So All right, let's do let's this. Tongue -tied. Fuzzy Duck. Fuzzy Duck. Fuzzy Duck. Fuzzy Duck. Fuzz, fuzzy duck. <laughs> I think it counts. That's he? awesome. I totally uh, uh, cheers to I that. Totally, oh, that counts. <laughs> totally forgot I was I going. I think it was supposed to go back to Christina and it keeps going bounces oh, back and forth. Okay. So I, well, hey, no, don't worry about it. He so he messed. He screwed up. Yeah, you uh, screwed up, Nate. I'm such a yeah. screw up. So start it again. <laughs> All right, uh, fuzzy duck. Fuzzy duck. Fuzzy duck. Does he? Ducky fuzz. 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 Does he? Fuzzy Duck. 
Yeah, we could come back this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, so it's one of those pong things. Oh, <laughs> yeah. screw up. I'll drink to yeah. that. I'll drink to yeah. it. Whatever. That's twice for me. Am I out of this yet? <laughs> Who's on my team? <laughs> team drunk. <laughs> well, hey, anyway, so that's how that game goes. That's, that's pretty fun. And we got a couple of drinks out of it. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, man, so uh, <laughs> what can people expect when they go to your your tasting room? How... You're, I've been to your place a couple times. I know it's it's pretty small, but you know, in your own words, and at the same time, how did you guys come to that spot, that location? What what brought you there? I think there was somebody else there before, or there was a partnership, or something. What's the backstory behind uh, Rebel Dog? Nate drove until his car ran out of gas. That's where they picked the building. <laughs> I saw it for rent sign, so I just had to pull over. Oh yeah. Yep. No, uh, originally when I left, because I was down in Newport Ritchie, um, just kind of in a hole in the wall. And when I decided to move, I was looking at this one space off Main Street in Newport Ritchie. It was an old fire station. That's perfect. But the owner of the building, who was also a contractor by trade, said that he would be required to do all the work. And we're like, okay, how much is it going to be? And he said, it'll be 40000 I said, no, because we, I mean, we didn't want him to do anything. He, I don't know. So I was like, no, I'm out and done. Let's just go. So I went up, uh, we were looking at a couple other properties, um, not necessarily the best properties in the world, but uh, there was this one in the shopping center, the square footage, uh, you know, the price was right at the time. Um, it had, it was an old restaurant before that, it was an old subway, then it was a Polish kitchen. So it had some things to it that we could utilize without too much conversion into what we needed had the vent hood and everything. So that's what we opted with. Again, not exactly the best location, but it was a busier road than what I was on previously. Who, who, are the, who is the, the lady that gave me chili when I was there? How, what is that whole, there was a, there's a, some sort of story here, isn't there, to the, the brewery and- There's a story. Is, there was uh, a partner, he's gone, whatever, something they would, you know? Yeah, there, there um, again, I when I had the, the store initially and, um, you know, we had just been talking over a period of six months or so and decided to, you know, let's open up the brewery and, and try it. But um, long story short, at the end of the day, what was best for the brewery was to go at it by myself sure. and, instead well, of having but him you're the But you're, you're the guy. You're the guy. So... Yeah, whatever, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the chili, I think that was, uh, we had a guy who was his, his stepfather, actually, named mm -hmm. Lyle. Yes. It was his last right. day, I yeah. think. That's right. And um, so they were brought in chili or what have you. That wasn't the Toys for Todd chili? No, no, oh, that okay. was... Uh, we have a lot of chili we stories, were, apparently. No, oh, yeah? It was <laughs> myself here. and uh, Eric, who's uh, another guy that, that works there. Mm -hmm. He's there right now. Um, him and I were or down at the brass he? tap. <laughs> <laughs> who's who's running the bar? It's a good question. Ducky Fuzz, is Ducky Fuzz Ducky is running Fuzz. the bar right now. <laughs> so, but yeah, Brass Tap was doing their Oktoberfest, so we were there. So we missed you guys when you first came in. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because I did. I did definitely well, that one time we were in there. Uh, the fir the first time did not get to meet you, and then yeah. we were just there after I think our first show. We went over there mm -hmm. and, and had yep. some beers yeah, on we a Friday did. night. I think it was. So yeah, James, I'm going to ask you because okay. you did the bulk of the. Um, the grinding, you keep your grains in like um, plastic tubs. The plastic tubs. Chicken. It's to keep um, to keep it airtight so no grains go stale. And you do it. No, and no you do it all by hand. We do it all by hand, <clears throat> and we do it for our customers. So oh, they're off a. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Action I mean, shot there. And, no, but, but uh, I mean, yeah, to so. me, to to somebody, I mean, I mean, I've gotten into drinking the craft beer, but I had never seen. A small batch from beginning to end and I mean there is a lot of work involved and that's why I wanted to know if you preferred doing it your way as opposed to some of these you know these bigger breweries who have like the 10 barrel and 40 barrel system I think there's all automated I think there's a sense of accomplishment that comes with it more so than doing it the automated way and everything is just there and what have you so there there's that there's definitely that you so. know what there's a sense of accomplishment with Drinking. Finishing a beer. Why don't we, since we're using the kids' glasses, thank you, be gone, chicken. Since these, we're using the kids' glasses because this is what children drink beer out of. 
These small huh. glasses. These are not Children for adults. Children shouldn't be drinking here. <clears throat> let's. How about we all let's all seven. let's all fill up and let's have a race and see who can finish finish theirs first. Oh, chicken. I can do that. Don't <laughs> don't be nice to the chicken. Tell the chicken what Listen, you want. The chicken fill? will do what you want. Right. Chicken. <laughs> yeah, guys, try try, try 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 some of the competition. Thank you. Your brothers, right? You're all brothers in the beer industry. I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, you have some already? Yeah. Oh, now yeah. you're, I, dude. Your uh, your sour beer is really awesome. It's the first. You know, the, the first uh, sour beer I think I ever had was one of the breweries in Sarasota, local. And uh, it was like a raspberry. It was super tart. Was it red? It was pinkish. like Pinkish, it. yeah. It was like a pinkish. It was yeah. like a raspberry sour or goza, whatever. And um, I really liked it. And I was surprised because I don't like sweet stuff n normally. I don't like any beer that's really sweet. Um, the, uh, what is it, Sea Dog Ale, their blueberry. That was the first, like, fruit-infused beer that I really liked. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> now I'm into the sours, and that's awesome. He's ringing the chicken belly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink the beer, chicken. That's not what you're here for. That's not. That almost came off my nose. Oh, that, that would have so been funny. great. That would have been. Uh, I said, funny. I said, let's get a pig. Uh. Christina said, let's get a chicken. Oh, well, I figured we'd get more out of the chicken. Yeah, we're getting a lot out of the chicken. Nothing that we care for, really, to be yeah. honest. Okay, well. Sorry, so we got a couple. Well, that's we what happens when you get a rooster, not a hen. True. <laughs> well, aren't the hens the ones that lay the eggs? Don't hens you want the hens? Hens are laying eggs, yeah. but you got a rooster, I think. Yeah, Thank you. We, I think we Thank did. Thank you very much. Sure. <laughs> get I'm out of the shot, chicken. You're okay. just not supposed to be here. He's bumping the table. I All right. So We've got like I, a couple minutes. Let's have a race. You're in, Christina. No. You're a beer drinker now. You're a beer drinker now. <sighs> she didn't used to be. She is now. All right, ready? Are we chugging it? We're chugging it. Have you never chugged a beer? You're from Canada. Um, You've not been from... And the, I, I can't afford to have any extra Pop gas. a button. Pop a button. <laughs> ready? <laughs> One, two, go. I can't do it. Dang it, Nate. Killed us. He crushed oh. us. Nailed it. I came I in can't. second. <laughs> You I didn't can't even try. I can't breathe. And do you want to put it on? There is. What does Yoda say? What is Yoda, we're just on nerd talk. What does Yoda say? Yoda says, do or do not. There is no try. That's right. Exactly. Well, that's, yes, that's exactly what Yoda says to a T. Okay. I think that was the show before she got that from. <laughs> hey, God, is it commercial time? Oh, we still have two minutes? Okay, all right, well. How many anyway. of us have you had now that good he's, hearing, Lord, he's hey, hearing voices? I hear voices all the time. <laughs> the good Lord's kind to us. He gives us beer and sunshine and all the, all the and wonderful guests. <laughs> so, awesome. So we have time for more questions. Yes, we do. James, so good, let me ask you. So, what, sure so he's the brewmaster. Head brewer. What's head your, brewer. <laughs> head brewer. <laughs> brewer what's your, so you just make, you don't make the beer, you make the head. That basically, that foam on top is what he makes. Incredible, folks. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm a foam guy. He's a foam guy. I, I do mean, my thing. Excellent. Everybody's got a thing. What's your thing? That's what I want to know. I'm thing? the assistant brewer, so You're just anything haircut, he doesn't. Uh, they, they call you haircut at the brewery? Uh, what up, haircut? Well, I call, call, I call him beers. slick after the night. <laughs> um, that works. I'm the assistant brewer, so pretty much anything that he doesn't do, I'm on top of like you're, uh, you're like transferring beer because uh, there's different forms of uh, fermentation. Like there's the primary <laughs> fermentation, which we keep it in like for three days. You're his and bitch. Just there you go, do it. Come on, bitch. This is a family show. I'm sorry, kids. Sorry, kids. By the conversation way, kids, was we're had. about to go to commercial in a few here, and when we do, I expect you guys to go refill, not milk. Well, milk stout's cool, but yes, not milk stout actual. is milk really stout. Dairy Come on. Dairy's the en the enemy of, uh, but okay, but he's the assistant brewer. We've, we got it. We, now we know what so, we're, we're dealing with here. Yeah. We have the, a brew, head brew guy, brewmaster. Gosh, what's below a master? I don't know. Brew sensei, maybe? <laughs> Add <laughs> one, I think. <laughs> right, we'll, we'll be right back. Right? Maybe, I don't know. Check us out after these messages. <laughs> Some guy Check named Steve. Beer.
now, Brian. Sure. What up? <laughs> we're back, everyone. We're back. We're still here. Well, we're still here. We're surviving <laughs> episode three with these maniacs. Yeah. These guys are out of control. Woo! Absolutely out of control. And absent Steve. Absent Steve. Yeah. Steve doesn't get the credit. That he Steve Who's Steve? Steve is He's the underneath level the master below brewer. Master. Yeah. Oh. It's, it, it goes. Brewmaster. Which I think is also God. I don't know. And then Could Steve. Be. Is that the guy who talks to me when and we're then, here? Tell and then might be a master brewer. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Steve oh. hangs out of the brew shed. But yeah. so is Steve. So we know that he's below him. And then is Steve above you? Absolutely. Or, oh, Steve's, Steve's above always, you. Yeah. Got to be. So it's Steve. So Steve's the guy. So we got the wrong guest, guys. We apologize <laughs> to our viewers that are here to learn about beer. And, you know, this is supposed to be a good quality show. We're trying our best. This is the best we can do. We got these guys. Okay, so what? We'll chalk it up. No big deal. We're a bunch of bums. No, I'm kidding. I love these guys. They're great. <laughs> they offered us beer. Do you, yes. not, do you not want to drink beers with these guys? I mean, he's a chug master. No, no, no. You're a chug master. No, it's a true know, story. You destroyed where is, us. Where is the beer bong? But <laughs> totally. The thing is wrong with Nate, though, is that you, like, that's what I was joking about with him when we were down there on Sunday. You just us. want to make out with him, right? Is no, no, on Sunday, because, be, like I be said, bad. when we first went down there, it was kind of iffy. And then I said to him, I said, I'm glad that our show is at, like, 8 o'clock at night because maybe you won't be such an asshole wow. in the evening. <laughs> Boom. And the Canadian comes out. But we knew that so he, he said, and he apologized. He said, I'm just, I'm not a morning person. Do you think people from Canada are generally, compared to the people in, in the, um, the lower parts of North America, are they nicer, or, or do you think Canadians are more, what, how would it you took, describe Canadians yeah, to, like, people from it, states? It took me forever to learn how to drive here. Because as Canadians, we just let everybody go, and we, we have a lot of Asians, and we so apologize. That rubs off, <laughs> and then, and then my husband's like, you know, if you don't learn to drive aggressively, you'll never get anywhere. And now I'm at the point where it's me that's like, you know, cursing and swearing at the people, and you know, mm. wanting to get out and slap oh. them around. But we're getting a little off topic. We're yes, talking we are. about sorry, beer. Sorry. So um, beer. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to ask Nate and James, how long does the um, boiling process take when you are boiling your batch of beer? Normally 60 minutes. Chicken. You can go Chicken. higher. It depends on what style you're brewing. It depends on um, temperature and what grains you're I mean, using. You could be making a 75-minute like IPA or something. Obviously, that's So depending on what you're brewing, then the time and the temperature is different? No. I mean, temperature, you're, I mean, you're still going to boil, and boils 212, but it, it just depends on what you're brewing. I mean, you could be brewing something that you want a higher gravity on. So the longer you brew it, the more evaporation you're going to get and it's going to be more concentrated. So will, will it be a lower gravity if you boil it more or? Higher. Higher. Okay. All right. I'm not a brewer. I don't know these things. That's why you we bring there. you people. You will, you will <laughs> be a brewer. Wait, what do you mean? She was there for four hours. She's right brewing here. the next one. Actually, oh, am I? Yeah. I'm brewing the next one? I'm All right. Home. There's going to be a uh, beer awesome. and sunshine brew. Yes, I'm we want that. that. We I want a beer and that. sunshine brew. That's something we've been talking to random breweries about. And uh, we, we, we think, so like beer and sunshine beer, you know, there should be one that's like a citrusy, like a Florida. Yeah, thanks. Get out of here. <laughs> and then there should be one to like, you know, for the whole, the Canadian thing, the maple bacon, whatever. Snow. Right? Snow. No, I'm thinking like, like snow beer and there. sunshine, like cocaine, orange and cinnamon cocaine or something beer. like that. Cinnamon? We could, cinnamon, why not? No, he's done it. Cinnamon beer. I like it. Well, like this, it. Is, your, this is your end. These guys, obviously, they're, they're, you know, they're really supporting us. They are. Right? They're like, they are. like I said, once he got over his whole asshole phase, sorry. Wow. I Wait, really got over That's just a phase? phase? Like, <laughs> yeah, no, it's not, <laughs> that's, that's not a phase. I feel like, like looking into their blue eyes is like looking into a little piece of hair. You have blue eyes? Don't look at me. They both have uh. blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> don't, you, don't you? Hey, we should now. Now is the time to play another round of Ducky Fuzz. Okay, who started? All right, right. All right. start it off, Nate. Start from, right. goes from le uh, left to right. Fuzzy Duck. Fuzzy Duck. Does he? Ducky Fuzz. Ducky Fuzz. Ducky Fuzz. Ducky Fuzz. Does he? Fuzzy Duck. Fuzzy Duck. Does he? Ducky Fuzz. Ducky Fuzz. Ducky Fuzz. That too slow. No, that's you. Oh, oh, back at you. Oh, nice. I'm the winner Cheers for once. To that. <sighs> sorry. Nah. <laughs> yep, you are. Always sorry. Hmm. Sorry. Well, so. That's so what? So, so, hey, let's let's. So I don't know how much time we even have left. Who cares? 
Yeah. We're just going to go like three hours tonight. Oh, we're, guys. we're going down this. to Rebel Dog for drinks afterwards. Well, I'm it's a given. All right. It's an encore so, tonight. So, where, right. where are you guys from, by the way? Are you guys from Florida? Originally? Yeah, originally. I'm He's from, from his mom. From Maine? I'm from Maine. Oh, wow. We're like brother and sister. You don't speak like <laughs> Farmer Smurf. You I know. Smurf. It's so amazing, isn't it? Wait, you're you're from Maine like, as well? No, I'm from uh, Pasco, uh, Florida. Oh, right. so you're born so, and raised. I'm born and raised in this county. You met. Yes. I mean, I make a meth whenever I brew, but, you know. Uh, uh, by the way, guys, for those who didn't know, he has a list. <laughs> Have you seen the signs on US-19? Uh, there, are, there are billboards for some dentist, and it, and it shows, uh, like, a beautiful girl with a beautiful smile. With her tooth and a black, a black yes. tooth, and it uh, says, uh. Mything something. <laughs> Every time I see it, I almost piss myself. It's hysterical. I don't know. I've seen the one that says uh, it's they're checking out some girls like teeth, and it goes, "We do more cavity searches than the TSA." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Boo. Uh, well, when I, it's, bad jokes. It's God funny good. though when you talk about the the billboards because coming from Canada, like we don't have like the big billboards. They're illegal in Canada. And they're not illegal. We just I don't know. They're just more friendly. Yeah. I crack up every time I see the ones for the... Do you really want to go to a doctor that, like, has vasectomy ads on the side of the road? Like, really? Uh, no. Like, uh, I mean... <clears throat> that's I'll, a web or whatever it is, like... I'm going to keep my pants on the entire time. Right, so, you, so, so you guys, so you're from Maine, and you're from, you're from the place where meth was born. And, um... <laughs> Are you guys, but you married guy? He's a married guy? Or? Not to I'm each married other. guy. She's in the audience. No. She's right there. She's not to each other, right? Hello. Where? Where's your wife? No, no, not to each other. Wife? She's a redhead. She's beautiful. Wow, yes. great. That's, that's not rare, but it's nice to see. And she's not trying to what stab anyone. What do you mean, beautiful redheads? Which we leave here. You don't see them that often. Well, I, I, I dated a redhead. I dated a redhead once. And, uh, Good Lord. I, she, I think she was going to kill me in my sleep, I'm pretty sure. Well, I might. But I survived. <laughs> But I still, she's a nice person. Hi. I won't say her name because we're not friends. I have, lot, I'm friends with all my ex-girlfriends. Most of them came to my wedding, but my last wedding in 13. And, uh, your and last I don't talk to that one. She, she warned me. She told me. She goes, we're done. She goes, I'm not going to be like your other girlfriends. We're not going to talk. We're not going to be friends. I'm like, whatever. It's on you. You're going to miss out. I promise you. The buffet at the wedding is going to be amazing. It's going to be open bar. And you're not invited. So. I mean... <laughs> Buffet at a wedding. How much so more class here? Come on. Oh, we're, uh, so but you're a single guy. I'm a single. Oh, I'm with. Uh, I'm dating a girlfriend right now. She's a. Uh, she's not here right now. She's off uh, buying a car. So. It was so. transportation or, or drinking beer. So. so this relationship's coming to an end after tonight. You're break up <laughs> she's done. Probably done with her. She's, she's so done with she's her. She's gonna kill me tonight. I hope you enjoy your Hyundai. It's over. I was in a goddamn TV show. I'm gonna be famous. Thanks for the support. That's her calling right now. <laughs> huh? So probably not gonna happen. You'll probably just go. You'll hug her and say, "Oh, it smells like a new car." <laughs> You might take a ride or something. <laughs> Maybe she'll let you drive. Buy her some turtle legs or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, exactly. We'll figure it out later. Some armor all sweetheart with a little bow on it. Oh, God. This That's this. only for the dashboard. Don't put it on the seat. You don't eat you. <laughs> no. Okay, I've actually made that mistake where I put armor all on the steering wheel. It's like, wee! Yeah. <laughs> right turn to right turn! He's back. He's going to right. <laughs> She's over here, Burt Reynolds, I get oh, God. <laughs> Nissan uh, Speaking Central. of Burt Reynolds, should we pour one out for him? He's not dead, I don't think. Not yet. You know who did die? The other day, Charlie Murphy. Charlie <laughs> Murphy. Yes, Charlie I Murphy. love Charlie so sad. Murphy. That's why he was so skinny for like for the past like, two years or whatever. You know, I, I, so I really sad. miss Don Rickles, my most politically oh, incorrect too. comedian. Gosh. He was yeah, so but... old, too, and killing it. All the, all the big comedians pay homage to that dude. Every time they bring up his name, it's like... The guy was amazing. He worked. He worked till till the day died. Worked himself to death. Maybe I, I don't know. My yeah. favorite turtle. <coughs> but, uh, <laughs> so I want to um, ask these guys while we have them here, and I know we're getting close to having to wrap up. It's been like amazing. Do fun. we have to wrap up? Well, no. To um, the end. They have. Uh, they. They have oh, a couple okay. of um, releases coming up um, on um, the twenty first and the twenty second. You have back to back releases. So yes. why don't you tell everybody about? The releases and the time that they're going to be released. All right. Well, we have uh, the Milk Stout, which is our the Angry Holstein. 
That'll be released uh, Friday, what is that, the 21st? The 21st, mm -hmm. and then... 6 p.m. April 22nd, which will be this, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday, will be our Waiting on Wednesday Session IPA. Um, and we'll also have Hot Dogs International there. That's the most As positive a, beer you've I mentioned. Mean, you had on. anger, you had neglect, <laughs> or whatever the waiting in line or something. Is <laughs> waiting on Wednesday. Oh, oh my God. God. Come on, Go waiting on Wednesday. Wednesday. It's it's all about a bad week, and you're waiting on Wednesday. It's like that 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 hill oh. that you're like. Everything's going to be that's fantastic. Why, that's why Wednesday's oh, okay. called Hump I'm, Day. I'm a moron. And I'm it's a idiot. session IPA, so you can just kind of hammer him back. He admitted it on I, TV I, that I he's am. a moron. <laughs> I'm not the sharpest tool in the... I mean, that right? You're a few nice sandwiches short of a picnic, Tommy. Basically, yeah. Right. Now you have to bring a camel to, when, to waiting on Wednesday's release. So what happens so after, hump day, why. <laughs> what, after hump day, now what happens Thursday, Friday? Do we get more positive towards the weekend? Well, Saturday, Saturday you got beer to. and sunshine day, Sunday? Well, Thursday, I mean, depending on how much you drink, might be a bad day. Or you may just stay home, and that's fantastic. Would you guys name a beer after us? Sure. Not I mean, I can't Christina, really, but beer's like, different. can't really see how many people are going to drink Idiot on TV, but, you know, we'll think of something. Wow, this guy's got jokes. That's why we hired him, folks. <laughs> that's why he's getting paid the big bucks. <laughs> Wait, we're getting paid for this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> jelly beans. My check, Nate? Jelly, they're God. amazing jelly beans, guys. They're so good, I swear. <laughs> they taste like rancid milk, rotten eggs. You're Sticky guys feet. each gonna get a box when you leave. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Bean boozled. I yes. love it. We should have done that as a drinking game. Bean boozled. Oh, we could. Where, of, where's sure. Bean has to drink the most? Yeah, we should or do pay that. the round. We should do that. Are they here still? The Bean boo. Could we have the Bean boozled? Do we have them? Who, who owns oh. them? Whose are they? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, all right, so we're going to oh, go to break. Gone. Yeah, we're going to go to but break. But he's your dad, so hey. All right. Hey. And we'll be back with Nate and James <laughs> and, of course, Tommy T. Yes. So we'll Thank be you. back after this Please commercial. Tune in. Kids, go get your refills. That's not yours. All and right. we're back, and Tommy is now chugging out of the. <laughs> so good. Woo! So good. Get it. So good. Get Delicious. that 
Growler. Like it. Come I on, do. boy, like get it. it. <laughs> we call that right. the deep south method. Oh. So we're going to talk a little bit more about the brewing process because to me it was very interesting. When I was there, I know I asked like tons of questions, and Nate, you were very good to answer all my questions for me, by the way. So I noticed when you were boiling, there was all this foam on top of the beer. Where does the foam come from, and why do you need to skim it off? It's actually, it's called the, the hut trub. It's proteins, basically what that, that's not the boil at all, but... <laughs> But they're, they're proteins, and what they do is they do create off flavors. They create um, haziness. Uh, they actually also it also prevents um, the yeast from fermenting to its capacity because it actually coats the yeast cells. So removing that is going to be beneficial in the long run. I like to keep it on as long as I can because it does add a nice insulation, so it brings up the boil a little faster. But once it gets to about 200 degrees, I'll start skimming it off. Okay, so when it starts boiling, and is that is that when you put your hops in? Like yes. it has to be boiling? Yes. And you had showed me this this cute little contraption <laughs> it was called it was a hop spider. And uh, I'm sure we have a picture of the hop spider. But could you explain like a little mascot? bit what the uh, hop spider is? The hop spider is just something that allows me to put that, that mesh bag on. I think that's a five-gallon paint uh, strainer. And so that way I can put the hops in without making an absolute mess with the hops because, you know, obviously the hops in beer itself, it's going to create a mess. And we and came up with the term for that, over. hop mess. It's a hop mess. Uh, we didn't do the word yes. of the day again. If we did, we should have like chosen hops. Honey, yes, we should have said. Awesome. So then after you take the hops out, there's a cooling process. Is that correct? There is. Okay. Well, yes, once it's done with the boil... And we got to cool down the wort as soon as possible. That way, it, and then of course, throw in the yeast when it comes down to temperature. I like to get it down to about 85 degrees. It really depends on the yeast you're pitching, mm -hmm. what style you're brewing. But I usually go for 85. It's usually the high end of the yeast for an ale that that we're brewing. And I remember asking you too on Sunday. You don't keep yours. No, I, no. at this point, I, I mean. At some point, I might in the future. Right now, it's just not on my list. It's cheap enough for me to just go ahead and get brand new yeast and call it a day. I got no place to store it anyway, so. Okay. So, but there are other breweries though that oh, do. Oh yeah, they. And and do they use that yeast to make beer afterward? Like, is there like a first generation yeast? Yeah, second they, beer? they they call it the mother, and <laughs> the mother is basically the yeast that they create additional yeast cells and throw in and i mean you can clean the yeast the you know several times and eventually i, I think it'll probably wear off in its effectiveness but do you handle the yeast a lot not really i imagine you'd probably get a yeast infection <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually why i stopped doing it oh i went to the doctor a lot <laughs> Sorry, it was obvious. I thought, you know. Oh, Tommy, you're too much. So then you do the um, the hops, and you take it out, and then we do the cooling process, and then you have to move it over to a fermenting tank. Now, after you put it in the fermenting tank, how long does it have to sit there before you can actually, like, keg it and, and drink it? Uh, the process that we do, and again, every style is different. It depends if you're fermenting at... You know, if you're lagering something, it's going to, you know, sit in there longer. It depends if there's, you know, a diacetyl rest. Uh, again, it depends what you're doing. But when we're doing like the one we did on Sunday, that's going to sit there for four or five days in primary fermentation. And then we're going to move it off the active yeast into a secondary. And that's going to sit there for about 10 days before we cold crash it for the next three and then keg it. So it's about a three-week process from front to back. And you can't, you can't like take some off and, and taste it. You oh, have yeah, to. Yeah, you it... can. Yeah, and I mean, initially <clears throat> when you brew it, and before the yeast actually starts, you know, doing its thing, it's it's going to taste like completely different from the finished product. But after those initial four days, you're going to get a very good idea of, of what it's tasting like. Okay. Now, do you have a um, a favorite beer that you like you like to brew? That I like to brew? Yeah. 
I don't think there's one that I like to brew. I mean, I guess if there is one, it would be the milk stout just because of the aroma that it gives off. So I think you should have said, do I stutter? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I was thinking in my head, I felt like looking at him going, did I fucking stutter? Did you not hear the words that come out my mouth? <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Do you know what movie, you know what movie that, quote's, that quote is from? I mean, I, I yes. Rush Hour? Yes. Come very on. Good. Uh, good. Good. Haircut. Haircut. Haircut, yeah. Haircut for the win. So <laughs> is it time for a fuzzy duck? It is time for a fuzzy, fuzzy duck. duck. Are you going to start I don't this time? Off. Start it off. Oh, uh, don't worry, Nate. I I've got you covered. I promise. All right. All right. Oh. No, no. We'll, uh, we'll add some anger and neglect. Well, to my while life. we're waiting, <laughs> anger and neglect. While we're waiting for everybody to get um, filled up on their beer, I think we're we good. Play. Are we good? Did you we're get good, some beer? I think, yeah. I have some beer. Oh, oh, boy, you're on the ball. What were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to talk your about. Speak your piece. Speak your mind. All right. I was going to talk about mind. some of the events that are actually going to come up this weekend. Next weekend, of course, is your guys' releases, April 21st and 22nd. See? But Draft House is having their Spring Fest in Dunedin tomorrow at 3. Sea Dog in Clearwater is having a Crawfish and Crafts at 4. Uh, New World Brewery in Tampa is going to be celebrating their 22nd anniversary from 8 p.m. till midnight. And on Thursday, April the 20th, in the loop in uh, Land of Lakes uh, from 8 to 9 is having a salsa night. So there's going to be craft beer and salsa. And uh, for more information, check out all your favorite breweries on their Facebook pages, or you can look up Beer and Sunshine, and we usually list all the uh, goings on in the uh, brew world. Yeah. Are they going to have so chips with salsa? If you want to know where to go get hammered. No, no, no. This, <laughs> is, this is dancing salsa, not chips uh, and salsa. And enjoy some craft beer. All right. Yes. Uh, all right. Another fuzzy duck. Let's all right. Do it. Are you starting? Uh, no, it starts from the left. Okay. Go all right. right. Fuzzy duck. Fuzzy duck. Fuzzy duck. Fuzzy duck. Oh, fuzzy duck. Does he? No, no. no, I got you on that. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Christina. Drink, drink, drink. Woo. I was feeling thirsty. I never get the hang of these drinking games. Yeah, and that's why we play them. <laughs> yes. yeah, so, if you, so, anybody who's watching, if you actually do use the show as a drinking mm -hmm. game and you want to party, be on Team Christina. Yeah. That's the way to do it, I would say. I have no idea about a these boot, games. Yeah, a a boot. boot. A boot. Okay. We don't play any drinking games in Canada. Sure. I'm we pretty sure that's a lie. Hockey in Canada. We don't play drinking games. Wait, oh, hockey's whoa. not a drinking game? Since when? Is hockey a drinking game? No. I guess it, should be. it should be. That'd be mm. fun. Grolsch is isn't that the uh, the uh, the the beer of uh, hockey in Canada? No. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, maybe Grosh is even Canadian. It's not oh, that's it. all right. Tommy, no, no, Tommy doesn't know sports. I don't know. Anybody who knows this Tommy fuzzy knows duck, that fuzzy Tommy duck doesn't know me. sports. I'm all ducky fuzzed right now. You know, yes, he is know. ducky fuzz. He's fucky duck. Oh. Whoa, it's a family show. <laughs> Jeez Louise. He's ducky Man. fuzz. It's okay. I, We're on prime time. That We're on prime time. time. Yeah. You well, can't hey. put that word and the other word together. going to take us all fair tonight. Don't beat yourself up. It's cool. What's okay. that? What's that, Lord? How many minutes? <laughs> three minutes? Three minutes. Lord says three minutes. All right. Well, yeah, okay. Cool. I'm down with that. I got three minutes to hang out with these guys. Yeah, we're hey. hanging out with these guys afterwards, too. Oh, that's all right by me. I'm cool with it. I'll hang with them all night. All right. So we'll we break, want... we'll break. We'll break day. You know, we'll, we'll see the sun come up together. We'll be holding hands on the beach. Yep. Oh, my good Lord. Why not? I mean, I mean yeah, it's a fun thing to do. It's Florida. Let's do this. This is beer then. and sunshine. I'll be beer on the beach. I won't be holding your hand. And speaking of beer and sunshine, if anybody wants to have one of our cool shirts, they can go on our Facebook page, click on the shop. Or beerandsunshinestore.com. Yes, beerandsunshinestore.com. And, and, so, yeah, beerandsunshinestore.com. It's not beautiful, and it's just me, Billy, and Christina wearing shirts. And, so old fat guys, hot girl wearing shirts and tank tops. There's some of her in tank tops. And... Uh, but uh, that's what we have to offer right now, right, for shirts. And then we got all kinds of stuff coming, though. All kinds of stuff. Really cool shirts, different things. Anybody who, who has a request for a shirt or has a favorite brewery they think we should contact, especially in the Tampa Bay area, uh, reach out to us. Uh, Tom at beerandsunshine.beer or Christina at beerandsunshine.beer. Let us know uh, if you have a favorite brewery that you'd like to see on the show. And, again, you know, cool shirts that you'd like to, like to see with Beer and Sunshine on the front. 
because that's a pretty awesome thing to, uh, it's a fashion statement. Mm -hmm. Beer and sunshine. What else is there? I have five. Yeah, look at that. You got <laughs> five of them. I, I love them so much, myself. I have five. Awesome. <laughs> Do you guys have cool swag at, uh, at Rebel Dog? Not yet. We're in the middle of working with a couple printers to get our growlers with uh, our Beer and Sunshine logo. shirts. <coughs> beer yeah, sunshine what's, shirts. Up, what's up with the Beer and Sunshine shirts? Let's do Beer and Sunshine on the front, Rebel Dog in the back. That's how we do it. So that in, in any brewery that, you know, lets us make shirts for them, because we make mm -hmm. them for you, we'll drop them off. Okay. They'll say Beer and Sunshine in the front and whatever you want in the back. Oh, Sir, yeah. I think we'll we make didn't it. draw it that shirt the corner. say, screw you, Tommy, on the back. Whatever. You know. <laughs> That sounds fun. It could, or, say, I think, no, it could say, screw you, Steve. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, screw Steve. Or like, screw who's Steve? Steve. Or yeah, fuzzy uh, duck. I think, it could say, fuzzy duck. I think it should say, beer and sunshine on the front, cool with the chicken, and then rebel dog on the back. Sure. I, no, the chicken is not going to be on a shirt. No, no, no. Never. Yes. No uh, chicken. The chicken. Maybe the rabbit, Easter Bunny, has been yeah. kind enough. How about a round of applause, studio audience, for the Easter Bunny, who's nice enough to yep. hang out with us. Yeah. He clearly has a lot of work to do, or she, I'm not sure, but um, a lot of work to do this weekend. Oh, thank God you guys did too. I thought I drank too much. Yeah, well, yeah. you know. Anyway, so, yeah, guys, thanks very much for hanging out with us. We really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. It's really nice uh, hanging with you, and we'll, I guess we're going to go do it some more. Have a few brews at, uh, at your establishment. You're in our house now. We're going to go to your house. And, and, and everybody and in the fun. studio audience, of course, is invited to come down to Rebel Dog. Yeah, totally. Drinks on Nate. If they're not... Woo! <laughs> yeah! Stand-up guy over here. <laughs> Drinks on Steve. 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 So now, are you guys, you guys putting anything on in the near future here? Any big events or anything? Is that something you guys are thinking about doing? Or We're looking to do it in the near future. We want to get our beer back on tap. And once we have that, I think we'll have a lot more flexibility with that. Awesome, nice. awesome, awesome. Well, I think that's a that's, think that's a wrap the time for us. We have, guys. Thank you, Nate. Yeah, thank, you, thank you, James, for being part Appreciate of the show. It, it was thanks fantastic. for watching. Come thank back you and see episode studio four audience. next week, eight o'clock on Friday. Thanks. Have a beer-tastic day. It's been a rough work day. The bounce is busting your ass. All you can think of is a nice cold glass of beer and sunshine. Life can get you down, but you can take all the lids. Nothing in this world out of beer and sunshine cannot fizz. Oh, it's a beautiful day for some beach and tan. Grab a few friends, put your feet in the sand with some beer and sunshine. Oh, oh beer and sunshine. Yeah. Sunshine.